we talk about the three major equipment types for new dispatchers starting out. Three major equipment types. Okay. And the reason why we suggest these three, um, 53 foot dry van, I'm just going to abbreviate dry van, 53 foot, and you can see pictures of them on, on the wall here, reefers or refrigerated trailers, and then 48 or 53 foot flatbeds, okay? Because these three are out here on the roads the most. You throw a stick on any interstate, you're going to hit one of them. They pay the better rates, and they're easier to find on the low boards. Okay. As opposed to the specialty so box trucks, that's a specialty equipment type. Yes, sir. Uh, hot shots, cargo vans, and sprinter vans. Right? If someone mentioned tankers, those are under, oh. um, like endorsements under the under the uh, semi cap. The reason why these are specialty because you have a you have an easier time getting a carrier who drives these equipment type wanting you to be their dispatcher. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because it's hard for them to find loads, mm -hmm. right? I can't find a load for my box truck. I can't find a load for the hot shot. Or I can't find a load for sprinter van cargo vans. But if you get, and, it's, and so it's easier to get the carrier and want you to be their dispatcher under the specialty category. It's more, I don't want to say it's difficult, but it's more of a challenge to get carriers wanting you to be their dispatcher who drives these equipment types, right? But once you do, the floodgates of loads open up for you because they're all they're prevalent on the low boards. Hey guys, this is Charles with the Exodus Logistics Learning Center. Uh, we're having our live in-person weekend trainings, uh, Saturdays and Sundays for dispatcher and freight broker. Dispatchers is three to five, freight brokers is six to eight. Um, if you're interested in coming out, learning from me in person, reach out to us at 757-515-1684 or Exodus Logistics LLC at yahoo.com. See you there.